So, welcome to module 9.2 and we this will be the first part of your project 10 namely the compiler for Jack. So, in project 10 as I mentioned earlier we will be doing the uh, uh, the front end of the compiler which has two parts namely tokenization and then parsing. So, in module 9 we have already seen what is tokenization, but we will give you a demo of uh, module 9.2 regarding tokenization. So, how do we go about that? So, I will just take you to the directory structure here. So, in uh, in your directory structure in project 10 you have three uh, directories array test expressionless square and square and in each of this there will be a jack file. Uh, so, in this case there is main dot jack if you go and look at the second one namely your expressionless square you have main dot jack then square dot jack and square game dot jack you actually have three jack files and uh, uh, and then if you go and look at the uh, uh, square actually you get again main square and square game right. So, there are three jack files. Now, associated with each of these jack, jack files. Uh, so, let us take here main main dot jack you have a main t dot jack this main t dot jack is nothing but the tokenized file right. So, what you need to do is you need to write a program as I have shown here uh, called jack tokenizer dot c this jack tokenizer dot c you compile it you get dot slash a dot out then you give this main dot jack as an input to this file this will give you say some main dot talk this main dot talk should actually agree with your main dot main t dot xml both should be same then your tokenizer has worked similarly if you go to the next directory here uh, as you see here uh, if you go to the uh, uh, you know let us take go to the expression less square so you compile main it will give you some main dot talk you compile square it will give you square dot talk you compile uh, square game it will give you square game dot talk that uh, main dot talk you compare it with main t dot xml square dot talk with square dot uh, xml and square game dot talk with uh, square dot talk with square t dot xml and uh, square game dot talk with square game t dot xml right so so, your tokenizer basically has to take this file and generate that equivalent of that XML file and how will the XML file look like? So, I will just open it up in uh, uh, in WordPad and show you how it will be. Uh, yeah. So, you start off with tokens and end with again end with tokens slash tokens that is one thing that you need to give and in each line you are basically so this is main right so let us take main so in each line you are going to put one entity of that for example uh, all the comments are taken off here as you see here so there are single line comments then there are uh, uh, interface level comments this is another comment and then there are comments which start in the middle of the line and go to the end right so, these are the things. So, let us see. So, the all the comments are ignored as I told you earlier. So, the first one would be keyword class there is a class this is the first lexical element and you know that it is a keyword. So, you get this keyword class keyword slash keyword. The next one is main main is an identifier and that is how we get it. The then there is a symbol which is this one. right then static is a keyword boolean is a keyword test is uh, uh, identifier semicolon is a symbol then again static is a keyword uh, sorry uh, then again function is a keyword void is a keyword uh, right main is an identifier then the small parenthesis close parenthesis are two symbols as you see here symbol and symbol and then there is a start symbol this is this uh, open braces then another uh, uh, symbol where keyword where 
and then square game is an identifier game is a identifier okay so like this every every uh, uh, lexical entity here gets converted and then you get this file so your tokenizer is expected to do this conversion one after one and then you compare it with so if you take main dot jack you will get main dot toke or something and that you compare it main t dot xml to see both are same if they are same then you can ensure that your tokenizer is going to be straightforward uh, is, is going to be correct so the entire effort of developing this tokenizer is squarely rest upon decommenting so we have to uh, so this is the basic tokenizer code so we spend quite a bit of time decommenting so the there can be three types of comments which is slash 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 star and slash star star while this is single line comment if I, after that nothing else is needed but the slash star need not be a single line comment it can it can uh, it can spawn across multiple lines and so is slash star star so whenever i see a slash star we keep on uh, go uh, in every line we inspect if we get a star slash if it if you get a star slash that means your assembly uh, uh, part is over if you don't get a star slash uh, then we proceed to the next line and every line i go and check if i am part of a comment or not so that is that is one of the most important thing in addition your double slash or these things can start at the middle of the line they need not start at the beginning of the line so that also makes the whole thing uh, uh, little more challenge in decommenting the code once you decommend that code then the then then the whole thing becomes easy now we have to uh, so let us see the how the uh, uh, thing goes so every time so what happens is that every time i see uh, a character or an underscore uh, if, if i see a character or an uh, underscore i I basically need to go to either the keyword or identifier. If I see an underscore, I need not go to a keyword. No keyword starts with an underscore, but identifiers can start with an underscore. If I see anything other than that, I need to go and confirm whether it is an identifier or a keyword. The moment I, I so this is a string. So so I, the moment we decide on the based on the first character, like if right, I start with I. I is a character. It's an uh, alphabet. So now, what is going to be for uh, after I will be a keyword or an identifier. It cannot be the other three elements or symbol. It cannot be integer constant. It cannot be a string constant because you didn't see a double quote. So so we keep on proceeding. We read F then till a terminator comes. Like terminator is in this case a white space as you see in top of this. Okay. Then you see a white space. So that is where we stop. Now we take these two uh, uh, i and f, which is if, and then compare if there is a keyword. Yes, if is a keyword, so I put keyword if. Then the next character I see is a neither an integer nor uh, uh, nor a double quote nor a uh, nor a underscore nor uh, it is a it is a it is a integer, right? So. So I see something which is not uh, a character, not an integer, not uh, not a double quote. So ob obviously I'll go and check for the symbol, and I see less than as a symbol. So immediately I put symbol here. The next I see is a single digit uh, uh, integer uh, zero. After zero I scan, I immediately get the next thing. So it does the zero stops here. So that's why zero it becomes an integer constant. Now similarly, uh, next we see the closing parenthesis, and that's a symbol, and stops. Next, your uh, thing will stop in the starting of the braces, which again is symbol. And then, uh, of course, the entire comment has to be taken off. So then again, we see let it becomes a keyword, and so on. So this is the way we can quickly do the uh, project by screening one character after another the stream of characters examining one character after another and making a decision of whether uh, what is that what is the lexical element so i have to get the next lexical element and then classify whether it's a keyword symbol integer constant string constant or uh, identify and this is essentially what we have done in this project i'll just show you the source code of this project
jack tokenizer. So, we've spent quite a bit of so this is a main function. Uh, spend quite a bit of time uh, uh, and energy to basically uh, find out if it is a command. For example, uh, a, a, a multi line command uh, comment can pass across lines. So, every time I read a line, I need to find out whether it is part of that comment. If it is part of the comment, then I can ignore because it is irrelevant for the compiler. If it is not part of the comment, we need to basically start processing. Okay, so, the entire effort till this as you see I am slowly going through the code till this part is going to be comments. So, you read a line and whatever is the comment you remove the remaining things you should put it into what we call as the parse command. Okay. So, this is put as a part of the parsed command. Now, what is it that we need to do? So, this parsed command is every line uh, we take and remove of the comments and whatever remaining is actually put as a part of this pass command. And what will the pass to command do? It will check this is exactly what it is doing. If your current thing that I am reading if it is an underscore or a A or a capital A or Z or Z then it is an identifier or keyword. Right now, if it is not this, then you go and find if it is a number, then it becomes an integer constant. It's a double quote; it becomes a string string constant, right? And uh, and the other element. Okay, so this is where, it, or it becomes an identifier. Uh, it's an identifier or keyword. Again, we have decided that. So, so once it is an identifier or keyword, now this particular big one, right? Go and compares and finds out if it is agreeing with any of the keyword then you say it is a keyword otherwise it continues to be an identifier else it is a string constant or an integer constant right or it can be a symbol per se. So, each element can be this. So, this is how you build a tokenizer now you compile the tokenizer you get a dot out apply on the jack file you will get some something dot talk or whatever that you compare with the main t dot xml that has been provided and you should not get an error right and that you repeat it for all the three things for example uh, if you take the uh, expressionless square there are three jack files main square and square game so apply this dot slash a dot out on main you get main dot talk square dot talk square game dot talk now we can uh, basically compare what you have uh, uh, generate these talk with uh, the, uh, token main dot talk with main t dot talk a uh, main t dot xml square dot talk with square t dot xml and square game dot talk with square game t dot xml. So, whatever you have generated you can compare with with what is given already here and if there is no difference uh, and there is no difference in all the three pro, uh, three things like array expressionless square and square if there is no difference then your tokenizer project is successfully completed. So, all the best this is a very very simple exercise you can do it in python c plus plus c c sharp whatever is uh, interesting to you, but nevertheless this is a very very uh, simple but elegant exercise. We will again meet in module 9.3 thank you. <laughs>